The King is Coming, December 13th. The reading is from Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 23. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated, God with child. Us. The following is from a commentary called The Birth of the King by Charles Haddon Spurgeon. Joseph was saddened and perplexed when he learned that Mary would become a mother before they had actually been married. Many would have put her to an open shame. But Joseph was of royal mind as well as royal race. He would not expose what he thought to be the sin of his espoused wife. Although he felt that she must be put away, he would do it quietly. He could not but feel very anxious and no doubt he prayed about these things. Soon Joseph had the best of guidance. From heaven he had the assurance that Mary had not sinned but had been favoured of the Lord. Joseph is reminded of his royal rank, thou son of David, and is bidden to cast away his fear. The Lord very graciously removed all suspicion from Joseph's mind and thus provided for the honour of the mother and for the comfort of the Holy Child. If Jesus is born in our hearts, we shall have trouble, but the Lord will witness that Christ is ours and he will surely bear us through. The Lord of glory is born the Son of Man and is named by God's command and by man's mouth, Jesus, the Saviour. He is what he is called. He saves us from the punishment and the guilt of sin and then from the ill effect and evil power of sin. This he does for his people, even for all who believe in him. It is his nature to do this as we see in the fact that his very name is Jesus, Saviour. We still call him by that name, for he still saves in these latter days. Let us go out and tell his name among men, for he will save others. It is pleasant to mark that Emmanuel and Jesus mean the same thing. God with us is our Saviour. He is with us as God on purpose to save us. Who would have thought that the prophecy contained in Isaiah could have referred to our Lord? How conversant was Joseph with the prophets to have their words before him in a dream? Without reservation, Joseph obeyed. What holy awe filled his heart as he welcomed the favoured virgin to his home to be respectfully and affectionately screened from all evil. Since he accepted Mary as his espoused wife, Her child was the heir of Joseph and so of David, and thus was by right the King of the Jews. Our Lord Jesus had a birthright by his mother, but his right on the father's side was also beyond dispute. Let us leave this wonderful passage, worshipping the Son of God, who condescended to be born the Son of Man. Thus our God became our brother, The nearer he comes to us, the more humbly let us adore him, the more true the kinship of our King, the more enthusiastically let us crown him Lord of all.